In this lesson, we will look at three examples of creating graphs from stories. Each of the stories involve walking to class. Using time elapsed as the independent quantity and the distance from a reference location as the dependent quantity, create a graph to match each story. Be sure to label your axes. Let's begin with several assumptions. We will assume driving to campus and use the car in the parking lot as the location of reference. We will also assume an average walk rate of 100 yards per minute, an average run rate of 200 yards per minute, and the distance from the car to the classroom is 800 yards. Looking at the graph, notice how I've already labeled the horizontal axis with time in minutes, which is the independent quantity, and I've also labeled the vertical axis with distance in yards, which is the dependent quantity. Let's look at the first story. I started to run to class. Then I realized I wasn't really late. As a result, I slowed down and walked the rest of the way. So using the car in the parking lot as the location of reference at time zero, I am at the car, which would be represented by this point here, the origin, zero comma zero. Let's assume I run for the first two minutes at a rate of 200 yards per minute, which means after one minute, I would be 200 yards away from the car, represented by this point here, which is the ordered pair one comma 200. After another minute, or after two minutes, I would be another 200 yards away from the car, or a total of 400 yards away from the car, represented by this point here. So this piece of the graph represents me running to class. And then after two minutes, I realize I'm not late. As a result, I walk at a rate of 100 yards per minute for the remaining distance. So walking at a rate of 100 yards per minute, after three minutes, I would be 400 plus 100 or 500 yards away from the car, represented by this point here. After four minutes, I would be 600 yards away from the car. After five minutes, I would be 700 yards away from the car. And then finally, after six minutes, I would be 800 yards away from the car. And because the classroom is 800 yards away from the car, after six minutes, I would be at the classroom. So this piece of the graph represents me walking the rest of the way. Again, with different assumptions, the graph would be different. Let's take a look at the second story. For number two, I started walking to class at a steady, slow, constant rate. Then I realized I was late. I ran the rest of the way to the class at a steady, faster rate. To begin the graph, let's assume I walk for the first four minutes of the journey to the classroom. So at time zero, I am zero yards away from the car. After one minute, I am 100 yards away from the car. Again, because I'm walking at a rate of 100 yards per minute. After two minutes, I would be 200 yards away from the car. After three minutes, I would be 300 yards away from the car. After four minutes, I would be 400 yards away from the car. So this piece of the graph represents me walking to class. After four minutes is when I realize I am late and I run the rest of the way. Running at a rate of 200 yards per minute, after five minutes, I would be 400 plus 200 or 600 yards away from the car. After six minutes, I would be 800 yards away from the car and reach the classroom. This piece of the graph represents me running the rest of the way. Let's look at one more story that's more involved. For number three, I started to walk to class, but I realized I had forgotten my notebook. As a result, I walked back to my car. Then I run to class at a constant rate to get to class on time. So let's assume I walk for the first two minutes before I realize I forgot my notebook. At time zero, I am zero yards away from the car. After one minute, I am 100 yards away from the car. Again, because I'm walking at a rate of 100 yards per minute, after two minutes, I am 200 yards away from the car. So this piece of the graph represents me walking to class before I realize I forgot my notebook. After two minutes, I realize I forgot my notebook and I walk back to the car at a rate of 100 yards per minute, which means after three minutes, I am now 100 yards away from the car. Again, because I'm walking back to the car, after four minutes, I'm back at the car. So this piece of the graph represents walking back to the car. 
Once I get my notebook, I run to class at a rate of 200 yards per minute, which means after five minutes, I'm 200 yards away from the car. After six minutes, I'm 400 yards away from the car. After seven minutes, I am 600 yards away from the car. Finally, after eight minutes, I am 800 yards away from the car and at the classroom, which means this piece of the graph represents running back to the classroom after picking up my notebook. Before we go, I do want to emphasize, if we change the location of reference, for example, if the location of reference was the classroom, and we change these assumptions here, it will affect the graphs. I hope you found this helpful.